Today, we are excited to introduce a versatile tool, the auto-calibrated pH meter now available in the Indian market. In general, there are two primary types of pH meters available. One, manual calibration models with a calibration potentiometer at the back. Two, advanced auto calibration models that simplify the calibration process. In this video, we'll cover unboxing the auto calibrated pH meter, its key specifications, and a step by step guide on operation and calibration of the pH meter. So, without any further ado, let's start with the unboxing first. The pH meter arrives in a sturdy, transparent plastic case, ensuring portability and protection. Inside the box, you'll find the pH meter device, buffer pouches for precise calibration and a user manual with detailed instructions. At first glance the meter looks nice and sturdy. The device has two buttons along with a display on the front side, one button is for on-off purpose and second is for calibration. The meter features a sleek, pen-like design. Removing the protective cap reveals the electrode, designed for accurate measurements. General specification of pH meter are as follows. It has operating range of 0.00 to 14.00 pH. Talking about the resolution then it offers 0.01 pH of resolution. The meter has an accuracy of plus 0.01 pH and it has a wide operating temperature of 0 to 60 degrees Celsius. If we see the power supply then it is a battery operated device and comes with two 1.5 volts LR44 button cell which are easily replaceable. Talking about the calibration then it has 3 point auto calibration. Dimension of the meter is 155 cross 31 cross 18 millimeters and weight will be 50 grams approx. Now let's look that how we can actually operate this pH meter. Remove the protective cap and any screen film that is attached on the meter display. Then rinse the electrode with distilled water and gently dry it with a tissue. After that, press the on-off button to power on the device. Then immerse the electrode in the test solution, ensure it's below the immersion line. Stir gently and wait about 30 seconds for the reading to stabilize. After measurement, rinse the electrode with pure water and power off the device. Lastly, replace the protective cap to maintain electrode integrity. So this is how you can use this pH meter by following the steps. Next, we'll see that how we can make the pH meter ready for the auto calibration. Here a user should note that the pH meter is to be calibrated before it is taken in usage. First, dissolve each buffer solution in 250 milliliters of distilled water. Here note that the meter comes with three different pouches of 4.00, 6.86 and 9.18 pH buffer solutions. Then turn on the pH meter and immerse the electrode into the pH 6.86 solution under the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. After that press the call button for 5 seconds and release. Display will start flashing 6.86. Wait until the display stops flashing. Rinse the electrode with distilled water and dry it with tissue paper. Then immerse the electrode in pH 4.00 solution. Press call button for 5 seconds, then press and release immediately second time. Reading will start flashing 4.00. Wait until display stops flashing. Rinse and dry the electrode with distilled water as before. Place the meter back to the buffer solution to test calibration. If incorrect, please repeat the calibration. If approximate pH of your test solution is known to be above 7.0, calibrate the meter using 6.86 and 9.18 solution. To do this, please follow the calibration chart. The third step is the calibration method for 9.18 point. Note, recalibration is recommended when the meter has been inactive for extended periods. It's used frequently. High accuracy is required. The call button was pressed and the electrode was exposed to air for a prolonged time. Some maintenance tips that a user should keep in mind are Always replace the protective cap after use to prevent the electrode from drying. If the electrode dries out, immerse it in distilled water for a few hours to restore functionality. Replace the batteries promptly when the display becomes faint or unclear, ensuring correct polarity. 
Keeping these things in mind and a user can use this pH meter for longer time. Hope you liked the video and thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like share and subscribe for more product overviews and tech tips. See you next time.